Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you're all doing fantastically well. So in today's episode guys, I'm going to be showing you how, how to install our Android APK through your browser. Um, I'm doing this on my phone device, so it will prompt me to allow third party apps. Um, if you're doing this on an Android box, what you want to do is you want to go into your settings on your box and you want to allow you want to allow third party third party apps to be installed and you want to uh, select the option i believe is for uh, debugging this will this will allow you to install the app so what you want to do is um head over to your web browser and you want to type in this address at the top here so you want to type in http colon forward slash forward slash Endless IPTV dot XYZ forward slash end. And once you've done that, you want to hit go or enter, and it'll bring you to this, guys. So you've got many things here. So as you can see, the third option down is APKs. You want to hit APKs. So here we have a vast number of APKs that you can download. As you can see, we've got DBMC, ES File Explorer, and the one you've got GSC app as well. And um, that's very good if you're on iOS. So if you're doing it from iOS on your phone, it'd be the same address. You just hit in the GSC and that. Um, so we're going to be doing the endless IPTV APK. So we need that, but we also need IPTV Core. So what we're going to do is we're going to we'll download IPTV Core first. There you go, and that should start downloading. That's downloaded. So then what you want to do is go to your Endless IPTV APK. Start downloading. It should be done. So now what we're going to do is going to drop the screen down. If you're, like I said, if you're, if you're using um, your Android box, uh, what you want to do is you want to go into your files, and then you just go into your downloads. So do Endless there we go, that says install blocks. So what we're going to do is you need to enable your settings to allow you to enable unknown, so that's unknown sources. Um, if you hit OK there, it will then allow you to install the app. So hit OK there. It says, do you want to install this application? It does not require any special access, so you want to hit install. App done. So now hit done. Now you want to go to the IPTV APK. It will tell you this, it will tell you the same again. So it's the same process again. You're just going down, go down to unknown sources. Hit OK. It will always prompt you to do this. Hit OK again. Click install. And it's done. So now once them to have downloaded, what you want to do now is they should now be on your device, whether it be your Android phone or it be your or your box. So now all you got to do, because I'm using my phone, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click out to my main screen. And here we can see it there, Endless IPTV. There we go. And here it is here. Um, what I'll do is I'll log in, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to pause here so I can put my login details in. So as you can see, guys, we're back, and I've input my details here, so I'm just going to log in. There we go here, you've got TV, Info, VOD. So let's head over to TV. There we go, guys, it, it display all the channels there. Just give it a minute, it will load up all the images. So you've got all channels there. You've got UK Entertainment, all your channels are UK Entertainment. UK Documentary, UK Music. UK movies, UK sports, BT sports, other sports channels, club football, UK news, kids stuff, uh, then you've got USA Canadian Entertainment, USA Canadian Documentary, USA Canadian Movies, USA Canadian News. So you get so you get the process, guys. So as you can see, that's very, very easy to install. 
Um, I get I get inundated with messages of people that can't download this. So I just thought I'd make this video just to show you guys how to do it. It's really, really easy. I mean, it's really easy on your phone to do it. It's just the same process of doing it on your Android box. Um, if you can't get um, the web browser on mm -hmm. your box, what I would do is uh, I'll do another video of how to do it through ES File Explorer. It's the same concept, obviously. You would download ES File Explorer um, onto your uh, device. Uh, you would then download. You then you would then download it through ES, and then you would then open it through ES as well. So it just appear on your box. So that's it for today's episode, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button as always. And as always, can we get ten likes on the video? That would be absolutely amazing. So until next time, guys. Take care. See you later. Bye bye.